If you got a Sonos port, you may want to control its volume in very different ways. Well, by default, when you're looking on the application, well, you got a volume control, like any other Sonos speakers. However, if you want to connect the Sonos port on another amp, well, it's probably the case because that's why it's made for to connect it on amp who will play what this guy play. So, uh, you, if, if you do that, you may want to control the volume on the amp instead of Sonos port. And you may realize that if you keep it that way and you group it with other one, you will have hard time to keep its volume to the maximum because that's what you will want to do. Keep the volume to the maximum so it give all the best uh, quality data to the amp and control the volume with the amp. So if you want to uh, keep the volume to the maximum at all time, you will want to go into the setting gear and then go on system and then uh, find the port in every room you have. So let's go here on port and go down on this page to line out level. From here, you have three options. You have the variable one, which is this one. You also have the fixed one. So you see the volume is fixed and it's fixed to the maximum level. And you also got pass through and don't get confused. Pass through usually when you talk about audio means the audio just pass through. Well, in this case, it's not about the audio. It's about the volume. And what it means, if we come back here, you see we got uh, that adjustment as, as, as at the beginning. But what it does is if you have a third party device, which is compatible with Sonos API, well, you will be able to control the volume of this device instead of the Sonos port. So this mean will, this one will be fixed, but you will be able from the Sonos app to control the volume of a third party device. So if by example, you connect the Sonos port on an amp, which is compatible with the Sonos API, from here, you will control the volume of the third party amp. And finally, if the volume at fixed level give you trouble and you need to lower it, well, you can come back on the menu just right here and from up there, you've got volume limit and you can adjust it to the percentage you want. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see my other Sonos tutorial, visit my link in the description or just right here. I have a lot of video on the subject. Also, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Maybe you'll give me an idea for the next video. If you're shopping for a new Sonos device, please see my link in the description. And you should also see my video how to choose the right Sonos device for you just right here. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find me back easily next time you need help. Take care and I hope to see you again, maybe on my main channel. See ya!